My name is Helen Lewis, and although I live in Northeastern Ohio, I have to say that there is a major portion of my heart that feels like a Mainer. I fell in love with Maine nearly 40 years ago, and that infatuation continues to grow stronger. We typically come several times a year. The beauty and magic of Maine are truly inspirational to me. I work predominantly in the media of encaustic and oil and cold wax. With encaustic, I am painting layers of molten beeswax that has Damar resin added as a hardening agent and pigment for color. Working from a hot plate as my palette, the encaustic cools and hardens as I brush it across a wood substrate. And then I use a blowtorch to fuse each layer into the previous layer. The oil and cold wax medium also uses beeswax, but it has solvent with it, and I mix it equal parts with oil paint. Again, I paint in layers, but with the oil and cold wax, I do not fuse between the layers due to the presence of solvent and oil paints. Instead, as these paintings dry, the solvent evaporates and the layers harden as the paintings dry and cure over time. The best paths lead to the sea. Color doesn't drive my work necessarily, but it is a key component, especially in my works that have color fields or large expanses of color, and especially where colors intersect. I work intuitively, and I want to respond to what the wax is doing to capitalize on texture that is forming or colors that may emerge in the work as I'm excavating or carving into a piece. Therefore, I don't typically have a plan for the final outcome of a painting when I begin. However, I do often have a loose color palette in mind when I start a piece. The colors in this particular painting are reminiscent of the rocky coast of Maine, as well as Ireland and Scotland, all places that I love, places that feel like home to me. The second painting I'd like to touch upon is of monks and mystics. This oil and cold wax painting has areas of misty grays and tans, punctuated by indigo and Payne's gray, and softened by a brighter area, which appears to be light coming through. The title references my spirituality and faith, which infuse all of my art. I'm a contemplative by nature, and my work comes out of a place of prayer and meditation. I need to be centered, still, and quiet on the inside, in order to tap into the subtle nudges that direct my work. There is a quote from the writer Sue Monk Kidd that says, my creative life is my deepest prayer. And for me, that is absolutely true. The title of my painting, Listen Carefully, references the need for me to get quiet and listen to those soft promptings within my spirit. In essence, I am invited deeper. I believe that we all are continually invited deeper and I seek to reflect that invitation through my art. My hope is that my art conveys a quality of peace and serenity, and I feel that goal is particularly evident in this piece, Listen Carefully, Gentle Light, which is especially serene with various green shades infused with light. This oil and cold wax painting has many layers and a highly textured surface where I hope that there is always a new detail to be discovered. Breathing space also illustrates that same desire for peace to permeate my work. Overall, this large diptych is a tranquil, very restful piece with expansive areas of soft colors. As you look more closely, there is much carving and texture in the work, intricate, delicate mark making that I achieve by carving into the layers with metal tools used for ceramic work, as well as old dental tools given to me by my dentist, who is also a family friend. Those marks and textures serve to draw you more deeply into the work. With my next painting, Holy Whispers, I want to touch upon a belief held by the mystics of old in Ireland and Scotland and Celtic Christians, a belief in something they refer to as thin places, Thin places are places where there is not much separation between the divine and the earthly, the mortal, where heaven touches earth with a mystery that is felt but not always seen. A thin place is where the veil that separates heaven and earth is lifted for a moment and you get a glimpse of something beyond, a sense of the sacred and mysterious, a holy whisper. 
It can be an actual place, or it can occur through a piece of art or music that somehow transcends. I love this concept, and I have experienced it, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Storylines. In my encaustic work, in addition to carving and mark making, I frequently embed pieces of ephemera into the layers of wax. My painting, Storylines, contains a very old envelope from France, along with a bit of beautiful calligraphic script. Also included is a portion of a letter from the early 1800s that was written on a lovely blue paper, which now has lighter colored fold lines where that paper faded over the centuries as it aged. I'm a lover of words, and in the course of my own journey, I've come to believe in the importance of sharing our individual stories. A Bridge to Home is another encaustic painting that incorporates some ephemeral paper treasures. This piece, with its soft grays and whites, includes a French postage stamp from the early 1900s and a document from Britain dated 1810. The specific section I used in this painting highlights beautifully handwritten words to hold. The title references the importance of memory and story and how ephemeral pieces, book spine, old letters, can serve to rekindle memories. It speaks to how words can transport us. This has been Helen Lewis. Thank you for listening to me share about my artwork available through Portland Art Gallery.